heel underscore L allows us to pivot the entire foot on the heel. Toe underscore L allows us to move the toe freely. Foot underscore L is going to help us get up on the toe. Foot underscore Piv is going to help us control the flexibility of the foot. The purpose of these bones will become more clear once the IK is working. We're going to add a little more organization to our skeleton. Create a null. Name it asterisk ankle underscore target underscore L. Now we want to place it as precisely as we can. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Open the scene editor. Find the angle underscore target null. We're going to temporarily parent it to the leg underscore IK bone. Then zero out the bone. Create a motion key to lock the object's position. Make sure the parent in place is on. And then drag the null back out of the object's hierarchy. Now we know the null and the bone's pivot points are perfectly lined up. Create a new null. Name it asterisk foot underscore master underscore L. Open scene editor. Parent asterisk foot underscore master underscore L to heel underscore L. Zero out the null's position. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. The null and the bone's pivot points are perfectly lined up. Make a clone of asterisk foot underscore master underscore L. Then rename it asterisk foot underscore ball underscore L. Parent it to the foot underscore piv underscore L bone. Zero out the null's position. Create a keyframe to lock it in place. Make a clone of asterisk foot underscore ball underscore L. Then rename it asterisk toe underscore L. Parent it to the toe underscore L bone. And that's it for this section. Ta-da!